Hi everybody, this is Glenn Kinsler with 2B Solutions and today we'll be taking a look at how an attorney might use 2B Law and the Inside View product to prep before a meeting with a client. So here's my home page and I can quickly see uh, a breakdown of leads and uh, cases and build time. Uh, but I know that I have a meeting with a client coming up, so I'm going to go look at that uh, account record uh, and uh, get prepared for my meeting. So I'm going to go into accounts. And today my meeting is with Oakworth Capital Bank. So I will click Oakworth's record. And it'll bring me to specific details about Oakworth. And so I've got my standard contact information over here on the left, and I do have uh, a list of recent activities as well. Notice here's my lunch with Sam um, record that's coming up a little bit later today. Uh, over on the far right, I've got some other contacts within the organization. As I scroll down, uh, I will look at matters uh, that we have. So this top one, patent application, it's inactive. It's probably closed out. We've done all that work. But this one, this trademark infringement is active. And so Sam and I are going to be meeting about this. I'll just open up this record. <clears throat> and I'll see more details about this particular matter. Um, I know when it was started and who all was working on it and an overview of the billing information as well. Um, I've also got uh, a breakdown of the um, time entries um, over here, uh, and this is sort of a small view. We could certainly make this bigger if we wanted to, but as I scroll down a little bit more, I'll actually see this time plotted out on a graph, and this is really very helpful. I mean, this might be all that you need to know, really, in preparation for your meeting. Uh, looks like here uh, that there was a lot of work going on a few weeks ago, but the work has kind of tailed off. Looks like we're towards the end of this. Uh, we've just, you know, kind of tying up the loose ends and uh, putting this thing to bed. Um, and as I scroll down a little bit more, I can track uh, also payments and expenses if I need to. And if this were a closed case, we could actually uh, log the outcome here as well. But I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm actually going to go back to the Oakworth Capital Bank record. And I'll scroll down uh, again, go past my matters, and uh, I'll get a quick snapshot, too, of my billing information. We've got information for total revenue to date with this client and also TTM, or trailing 12 months revenue. 2B Law can integrate with accounting systems if you want to, so we can pull that information directly in from your uh, accounting and billing system. Uh, and not have that type of information in two different places if you want. <clears throat> but I'm going to come down a little bit further here to uh, the Insights tab. And this is a new feature uh, that Microsoft is offering with um, uh, CRM Online Professional Licenses. Inside View uh, grabs information from many different sources out there, uh, including Hoover's, Equifax, um, all kinds of, of, of agencies to bring, uh, to, to really aggregate this information and present it to you in a quick way. Um, so here I can quickly see that, uh, you know, Oakworth Capital Bank is a private bank. It falls into the regional bank category. I'll get information about their NAICS and SIC codes if I need that. Um, and then uh, over here on the far right, it, it'll show me, uh, I have connected this to my LinkedIn, so it will show me uh, how I'm related to um, people at the bank. Um, <clears throat> let me click on some of these other tabs here. So I'll click on people. And uh, Inside View will bring back to me uh, a list of employees that it finds out in the internet. So it's brought back three that I'm already connected with. Uh, but there's also, um, uh, you know, the CEO, it brings in ad additional contacts that I don't have. In fact, I could sync these into my record if I wanted to. Uh, but notice also this buzz feature. If I click on buzz, it's going to bring back uh, all the social media feeds that it can find related to Oakworth Capital Bank. So it's actually bringing in um, <clears throat> information from their Twitter account. If I scroll down a little bit further, uh, it's bringing in information from their Facebook account as well. It's also bringing in their blog posts. So over here on the left, it's kind of a running list of entries. Uh, I've got a few Facebook posts. Uh, I've got a blog entry in here. Here's a Facebook post of a new 
uh, managing director in the Montgomery office. Um, and I believe down a little bit further, there's a, a new managing director in the Birmingham office, actually two of them. So by quickly coming to one place for this kind of information, I can quickly get up to speed on what's going on uh, with my client. Uh, you know, perhaps in my uh, meeting today with Sam, I can say, hey, congratulations to Adam and Reese on their uh, new promotions. And this will you know, really show my clients that I have, uh, you, you, you know, that I've researched, that I have uh, done my homework prior to the meeting, and uh, that I'm, I, I know what's going on with their business. <clears throat> also, I want you to see here, too, there's an industry profile section. That's going to bring me back some very interesting stuff. Um, things like challenges that uh, these types of businesses are facing things like regulation, dependence on the economy and loan risk and data security. That's probably a challenge that could be for every, um, uh, organization out there. Also trends, uh, consolidation, uh, divesting non-core assets, mortgage portfolio restructuring, things like that. So these are going to be, uh, some kind of conversation starters that I can use to, um, <clears throat> you know, really engage with my client even further. Again, show them that I've done my homework, that I'm on the ball, and that uh, I'm more than just their attorney. You know, I'm their trusted advisor. Uh, I'm here to support them. Uh, this call prep section is actually very good as well. This is a little bit more interesting or perhaps useful for, you know, if Oakworth were, say, a prospect and not my call, uh, current client. But um, again, these are just some conversation starters, some things to think about, some things to show your clients that um, uh, you're there for them and that you're uh, up to speed with what's going on, not with just their company, but their uh, industry uh, in general. So that's a quick snapshot. In our next one, we'll be doing this for a prospect instead of a current client. Uh, but thank you very much. I appreciate everybody's time and I uh, hope we can talk to you uh, again soon and you'll join us for our future uh, webinars and videos.